my name is Daisy, I'm 23 years old. I love doing sports, so jogging, yoga, um, like traveling. I would say my phone is essential to me um, because I use it every day. I use it a lot every day um, for everything. I would probably guess I glance at my phone at least 100 times a day. Facebook, Instagram, um, WhatsApp, texting, calls, Spotify. If I didn't have a phone, um, I think I'd probably feel quite at a loss, quite disconnected. You don't know what's going on. Am I missing loads of plans? Are people seeing it? You have no ways of contacting people. You wouldn't really know what's going on. What? I don't know, yeah. It'd be weird. You'll be given a set of tasks throughout the day to see if you can survive everyday living without the ease of your mobile device. Online and mobile banking was completely unheard of in 1997, so most people had to rely on cheques to transfer money. Here is a cheque for your daily expenses. Your first task is to take it into a bank and get all the money you need for the day. Good luck. I suppose everything was mainly paid for in cash. Yeah, no cards, no none of this online stuff. I've never done it. I've never gone into a bank and cashed a check with a human being. Ready to go. My first task is to go to the bank and cash a check. So I'm gonna walk into Nationwide hopefully present my check to a lovely human being um, and get some cash in return. Five days! <laughs> it's going to take five days to get any money. They took the check and said that's five. <laughs> the five days. Surely they, they can see how much it is. All they need to do is to take some cash out and hand over. <laughs> But they said, no, it's not, it doesn't work like that. I have failed for now, but in five days I will have passed. For your second task, we would like you to play this popular game from 1997, Scrabble, with 10 of your friends, your most used messaging group. Good luck. I would say it would be nearly impossible to keep in contact with all my friends without any forms of internet, social media. Um, I mean, it's hard enough when you have all those things. So I guess you just have to write letters. <laughs> I know one friend's number. Can I ask people where a phone box is? Okay. Hello. Do you by any chance know where a phone box is? Phone box. There might be one down by the Sainsbury's, but we're not sure. Found one. I don't know how you do this. <laughs> do you have any change? <laughs> do you have any change? Hey, yeah, it's Daisy. I have to get 10 of my friends to come and pick Scrabble with me. And I've had my phone taken off me, so I, I'm on in a, um, a phone box right now. Okay, so you can't come play Scrabble because you're at work. It's such a hassle, isn't it? All I want to do is play a game of Scrabble. Um, you have no idea if people are home. You, they, they could be out, they could be anywhere. It's very inconvenient. I'm alone because I had no way of contacting a lot of my friends. And the few houses I went to um, were, there was no one there. So just, just me at the Scrabble board. I think if I had had my mobile, it would have been a lot easier uh, to play a lovely game of Scrabble. Could have arranged with everyone a suitable time, location via WhatsApp or Facebook, or even just played on an app on our phone. So I could play with anyone wherever they are. Could play with my pal in Australia, but, um, rather than sitting alone on a bench <laughs> playing Scrabble. Okay, so task three. You must, pur must purchase and listen to the current number one. Good luck. Right, what is the current number one? <laughs> I think the most recent purchase I made of a physical hard copy CD uh, would have been 
maybe a couple of years ago. I would usually just listen to music um, straight from my mobile, occasionally radio if you're in the car, but mostly, mostly on my phone. I think we'll head to Brick Lane and we'll definitely be able to get, get it sorted there. We had a bit longer to get here than originally planned. A bit harder without my phone, but we're here now. Feeling positive about this task. I mean, I know I failed two, technically, but this one, we're going to nail it. So I'm thinking I might just pop into one of the shops and ask. I have directions. It's back this way, so let's go. With any luck, they will have the UK's number one. Uh, so first thing is find out what that is. So go in, ask some questions, and see if they've got it and available for me to buy. Do you sell the UK number one out of singles? No, I don't know where it is. Do you know where it is? Do you know where my sell it? Yeah. Went in there, tried to find the single, they didn't have it. I really did suggest um, going to a supermarket, Sainsbury's, Tesco's, um, but I also thought probably HMV will have it. really optimistic about that one but failed again uh, they don't sell singles asked the guy he said no no singles here I'm afraid everything's so freely available now you don't even have to leave your house whereas just to listen to one song is going to take you more than four hours 20 years ago or just download it online we'd like you to find some entertainment for this evening you'll need to find a show and buy some tickets to, to complete this task Good luck. I'd probably attend sort of events and nights out um, once or twice a week. Yeah, I would probably usually find out about the events on Facebook or something like Ticketmaster or some sort of online ticket site. You can just do it all online, click a button and it's all paid for. You get your email, um, your ticket through to your email. It's very straightforward. I'm just going to pop into the record store, see if they know anything going on tonight, because that would be an easy, <laughs> easy way of getting around this. Right, so I found you an event. It's Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, would you believe it? They've got some availability over the next couple of weeks. So once I get the money from that check, which is going to come in in five working days, I'll get, get you tickets to your show. There we go. Tune in to watch your favourite primetime TV programme as they would in 1997. Good luck. Love Game of Thrones, love Peaky Blinders, love a bit of Bake Off now and then. I'd go home to watch TV and I would do it on my, I don't know, yeah. Just go home. So, bye. <laughs> so, just got home. Um, ready to do my next task. I'd usually just come in, flick on the TV, look at the TV guide and see if any of my favourite programmes are on, um, but can't do that. So hopefully there's something in the newspaper. So it's coming up to seven o'clock. Bake Off is on at eight. So it means we've just got an hour to wait for that one. I can't say I ever sit and wait for an hour for a programme. Usually you either watch on catch up or you watch something else that you've got recorded maybe. Okay, thank God it's eight o'clock. Bake off time. I'm pleased to say that I succeeded and I managed to watch Bake Off at eight o'clock uh, tonight. I can definitely say it's much harder to watch the programme you want to watch when you want to watch it. Usually you either watch on catch up or you watch something else that you've got recorded maybe. It's kind of irrelevant now what time they're actually on TV. After today I feel physically, emotionally and mentally exhausted. I've been running around all day trying to get these tasks done, failing. So I suppose all the tasks were pretty, pretty trivial, it's a bit of fun, but actually if they were serious situations um, God knows how I would have fared. First thing, probably I'm going to check is Facebook, Instagram, text, calls, emails. Um, I mean, who knows who's been trying to get in contact with me?